Hi, my name is Christine. I'm the visiting clarinet instructor at the Crane School of Music. Miles DeCastro of North Country Winds and I have been collaborating on a series of videos about clarinet equipment. And today we plan on answering the question that nobody ever asked. Are there superior cork graces? I have 12 cork graces here that we will test today. Things that we'll be looking at are the viscosity, how thick the cork grease is, how greasy it is versus sticky, um, and how long it lasts on cork. I will also try to see if I can find the ingredient lists for each of the cork greases to see if we can find some commonalities and to see if there is a notable difference. Let's get going. So we have 12 different types of cork grease we'll be going through. They are, this is unlabeled, but I believe Miles said it was Ultimax, Dobject, which was distributed by BAM, LeBlanc, Venture, Cells, Celes, Van Dorn, Bakun, Yamaha, another brand, another Bacadario, Super Slick, and Buffet Crample. A colleague of mine swears by using Burt's Bees, so we will also be testing this as cork grease. Time for some science. Put the hair up. like really thick and like really sticky. I don't know if this is supposed to be a cork race. I wonder if it comes out as pink. It does. Look, it's like super pink. Is this gonna turn your corks pink? The thi oh, and it's, it's strawberry. So what I heard about these is that they're supposed to be able to double as cork grease and chapstick and lip balm. Which like straight up, I use my cork grease as lip balm sometimes, don't judge me. It's definitely like much thinner than the other one and not like super sticky. But it's big. Oh man, it's like, how does it look? I mean, look, it's like coming off of a towel. I'll try the block. Oh, yeah, like this is like super thin. You like. If I take a bunch. On my fingers, and then it just it like disappears. But it's real. Like you could see the shine. It's super greasy. Um, honestly, this is what I like for my cork grease. Venture.
very similar to the to the LeBlanc. It disappears. It's like greasy. I think the LeBlanc is probably like a thinner consistency than this one, but still. This Bakun. very firm. It like doesn't want to like, like the other ones I could press down and get like a chunk of grease off, but this one doesn't. But the consistency is like, is thin. It's not really sticky. seem as greasy as the other ones though. Like I feel like it wouldn't last very long. Oh, look at that. Oh, gloss still a little bit on. Now let's try this one. This is The Cells. I haven't heard of this brand before. www.selles.fr It's wider. It's like bigger than the other. Um, Quirk Reese's, it reminds me of like the Elmer glue sticks. Oh, but yeah, see like, so like I touched the edge of it and like, it just like comes off. This was what the Bakun one didn't do. And, and it just like melts. It's like, <laughs> it's like butter. It just like disappears, but it's super slick. Just like the LeBlanc. This feels really, really similar. Alright, let's do the other Bakun. The other Bakun cork grease. Yeah, just like the one before, like the earlier one, it's like kind of firmer consistency, so it doesn't want to like come off in clumps like the other one. And it does. It does like massage in well. It's not like super clumpy or sticky at all. It's a little, maybe a little sticky, but um, it doesn't feel as slick as um, the other ones. Who would have thought there would be so much variation in cork grease? Yeah, my heart. I don't know why I sang that. This, it feels thicker. It feels thicker than the LeBlanc or than the Cells um, and the others, but if it still feels like super greasy. So even though it feels like it's thicker, it feels like it has the same like This is not my field of expertise, I play the clarinet. Didario. This is hard to... Like the, the original LeBlanc, uh, not LeBlanc, Bakun, it like doesn't want to come off on my finger. Um, I don't know if you can see that like my skin like holds a bit before. Hmm. Van Dorn. Oh, this one smells good.
sides. So this one I was able to get like a nice amount off. And just like the other French ones, you rub it and just disappears. But it's really, it's, it's greasy. It's, it's good. Um, I don't know if it's maybe as greasy. I think the LeBlanc in the cells might have been like a little bit greasier, but I like this. And it smells like apples, like green apple. All right, buffet crampon. Oh, this like I like barely put any pressure, and like a bunch came off. Which personally I like. I mean, if you're working with like super young students, this might make a mess if the cork grease is too soft. But hmm, and we're gone. But still very very oily. All right, super slick. Let's see if it lives up to its name. It definitely initially seems thicker than some of the others. And not particularly slick. It starts off very kind of sticky. And then I just feel like I have a residue on my hand, but it's that it's not necessarily like slick. And lastly, let's try some fruit speeds. comes off with a little bit of pressure, but not in like great amounts like the some of the other corkers. It disappears pretty quick. It feels like the uh maybe the Yamaha where it was thicker but like still very greasy. And this one you can definitely use as chapstick. There you have it for the first round. Um, I would say based on like touch, that the French made cork greases tend to be, in my opinion, more preferable. They are the cells, the fake crampon, the Van Doren, And the level look. These are definitely softer. They're the oil. They're like very oily, um, so I feel like they wouldn't cause like gunk or buildup um, on the tenons or around the cork. Yeah. So in terms of texture, these are my faves. Thanks so much for watching. Um, <clears throat> stay tuned for our next video in the Cork Grease Saga where we will explore uh, how long-lasting on the cork these cork greases are. Exciting stuff. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. And also, Big shout out to Miles from North Country Winds who gave me all of these cork greases to do this crazy experiment with. Don't forget to check out his website www.northcountrywinds.com for all of your clarinet needs.